Hello and welcome to my new video. Today we are going to make a wooden katana. This is the third version I am making and this time I will show you how to make the sheath or saya too. By the way, this version will be similar to the bride's katana from Kilville made by the legendary blacksmith Hattori Hanso. These are the materials you're going to need. The first step will be to print out the templates, cut them out and stick them to the ply. The next step will be to, well, cut out the templates. I'm using a scroll saw, by the way. To be able to cut out the inner ornaments, drill holes through the areas you want to remove to get the saw blade through. These are almost all of the parts you're going to need to make this katana. Now go ahead and glue all the pieces together. I will show you how to do that in this shot. While it's letting the glue dry, I recommend to leave the salt inside the sheath. This assures that it will fit into there later on. After about 45 minutes of letting the glue dry, you can continue. Now the most monotonous part of the project begins, the sanding. If you do it by hand, that can take a while, but taking your time in this step will definitely pay off later on. You can use a hand plane to quickly remove material on the blade.
Usually a bit of sanding is required after doing that. The fit of the katana and the sheath should be tight enough that the sword doesn't just fall out, but you still should be able to smoothly get it out. After you confirm that the fit is right, sand the sheath. Oh, and here's a tip which may be obvious to most of you, but well, we want everyone to get into the boat, right? When sanding by hand, only finish using the coarse grid paper when the shape is more or less finished. This will save a lot of time on the finer grids. When you're finished sanding everything, you can start painting the katana. Don't glue the guard into place yet, as we'll paint it separately. Start with painting the whole grip, or tsuka, white. The guard, or tsuba, is gonna be painted black. Same goes with the sheath, or saya. The little knob at the end of the grip which is called Kashira, is going to be painted black as well. When the paint has dried, you can glue the tsuga to the tsuka. At this point I'm transferring a little ornament from the paper onto the sheath using a scribing needle and a pencil. This ornament is from the bride's katana from Kilwo. It is going to be painted yellow. I used the same method to get this little devil onto the plate. I'm going to use a soldering iron to burn it into the plate permanently. Some clear varnish gives the sire a nice shiny surface. Now use some gold paint to get this little part golden. This part is called sepa.
Now glue the zapper to the tsuba. Some metal effect foil will make a great habaki. Now do the handle wrap or tsukamaki. I've left a link of a great tutorial on how to do that in the description below. This is how the katana should look like at this point. Thanks a lot for watching. I know that a lot of you guys really like their katana builds, so I thought I should make a third version of my homemade katana series. I really enjoyed making this beautiful sword and hope that you guys will as well. If you want to support me, you can give this video a like or maybe subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot. Also, you can suggest new projects. Thanks a lot and bye bye.